So for this problem, what we're going to do is find a parabola that goes through those points. And uh, as I look for that parabola, I know that it's going to be in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c squared. So I need to find a, b, and c so I can write an equation that goes through these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in these values. Remember, points come in the form x, y. So when y is 0, x is 1. So I'm just going to plug that in. y is 0 when x is 1. And notice that that is just the equation um, a plus b plus c equals 0. And the next one, um, x is 2 when y is 5. So when y is 5, x is 2. So this will be uh, 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. Notice that's just the equation 2 squared is 4. So 4a plus 2b plus c. And that equals 5. And then this third one, uh, when x is 3, y is 16. So 16 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. Uh, 3 squared is 9, so that's 9a plus 3b, also plus c, and that is equal to 16. So this is just the system to solve now, and then once I've, I've solved the system, I know it would be a, b, and c, I can plug it back in and I have this equation. So I'm going to write this as a uh, matrix 1, 1, 1, 0, 4, 2, 1, 5, 9, 3, 1, 16. And I'm going to uh, use this matrix to, uh, to solve. And so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to make some zeros. I'll make a zero here and I'll make a zero here. And this first zero I'll make just by going the first row minus, uh, the second row minus the first row. So row two minus row one. And I'm just going to put that into row two. So my first row is one, 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 zero. My second row now will be four minus one is three. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 5 minus 0 is 5. So I made my 0 there. So now I make a 0 here. And I could do it by going row 3 minus row 1. I'm going to go row 3 minus row 2 just because my, my numbers will be smaller, uh, my answers. So I'm going to go row 3 minus row 2 into row 3. It doesn't really matter if I did row 2 or row 1. Uh, so 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. That's what I wanted to happen. And then uh, 16 minus 5, uh, what is that? That is uh, 11. So I have zeros here and here. So I think I want a zero here now, and then I can solve this, solve this system from here. So to get that, I'm just going to go uh, row 3 minus row 2. And I'm going to put that into uh, row 3. So my first row doesn't change at all. So I'll have that. My second row is going to say as it was. And now uh, 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 11 minus 5, that is a 6. So now notice what I have. I, I know my a value. Um, 2a is 6. So a must be 3. And if a is 3, I can put it into this equation and get b. So 3 times a plus 1b equals 5. So 6 plus b is 5. So b must be negative uh, oh shoot, that's not 6, that's 9. Sorry. Bo, 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 I made a mistake. Uh, 9 minus b, so subtract 9 from both sides. Looks like b is negative 4. Plug both those both into this equation to get my c value. a is 3 plus b is negative 4, plus c is 0. So uh, negative 1 plus c is 0, so c must be 1. So there's my a, b, and c values, but I'm not done, because remember, I'm trying to find the equation that goes through those points. So my equation is y is a is 3, 3x squared, b is negative 4, minus 4x, and c is 1, plus 1. That equation goes through those points. I could graph it and make sure that they do, or I could like plug in x and it'll pop out zero. Plug in two, it'll pop out five. Plug in three, it'll pop out 16. 